Him from them all. Lo, I am with you all the way, even to the end of time. Open your eyes. we've been through this over and over again at this point I am tired all right I do not want to shout anymore can you please listen to me please Alex I am listening to you Fine, when we got married, I made you go into this with me. And you accepted. Now it's time to leave. Alright, it is time to leave. Fine, look at me. Look at my eyes. 
A few hours ago, I was still blind. Look at me, I can see. Yes, you can see. And that is the benevolence of the nativity. They have given you back your sight. Can't you see? And of course not. That is because this new God, Jesus Christ, is bigger. Bigger than the devil. What nonsense are you talking about? Listen, do you know, you have to go back to the nativity. Apologize to them. They won't take you back. You know I will not do that. I Why? tried. I cried upon the Lord Jesus Christ and he answered me. He opened my eyes. I oh, will not. Please do wait. Because your life is with the nativity and you can't go anywhere. Can you please not shout? You have not heard the last of my shouting. Because until you wait up this madness, I am going to scream down this house. I have done my best to make Someone blew up my car this morning. I had to go to the force headquarters to make a formal report. That's serious. Go back and let you know what this is about. Isn't this part of the plot? What plot are you talking about? What role are they giving you to play? By the way, I don't understand what you mean. But the list of people who have been approved to import bamboos and ties into the country left for good than an hour ago. You didn't get here on time. I need to be present with the person required. So your name is not on that list. Subsequently, you are not allowed to import anything to the country. By the way, your 25 containers, I want to us at the port have been impounded. Yes. And as we speak, our field agents have instructions to impound everything else you have in your shop and in your warehouse. Thank you for the information. Those we saw walked very fast. In a few days, I can make you regret the day you came out from the morning school. Now take my candid advice. Return to the nativity. And all these will be forgotten in the flash.
to discuss with you. And we want you to know that as quickly as possible before things get out of hand. Well, let me get you to something. No, no, your wife is prepared something for us. Good wife. Oh, okay. All right, what happened? Um, it is something to settle down and talk. Okay, I'm settled. Go ahead. Yes. Kalisa. Mm -hmm. Some people who know book met us in the village and told us that they read in the newspaper and they heard on the television that you have been made a commissioner. The entire village celebrated. They were waiting for you to come to me in a trough. We even mock our neighbors who mocked us and said that nothing good will come out of our family from that. And if you went to church for Thanksgiving, now the same people told us that you have been made a commissioner still say that you rejected the offer given to you by the government. Oh, yes. Then the entire family members sent me and Abana to come and ask you why did you reject the offer. That is why we are here. Ah, food will soon be ready. Uh, my uncles, um, thank you very much for your concern. I really appreciate it. A lot of things have been happening around here that you people will not understand. It is deep. See, I rejected the offer because, because I know these people. The people in government, they are my friends. I know what their hands are into, and I do not want to put my hands into the same thing. Whatever they put their hands into, nobody is asking you to put your own hands into that. Uh, but they offered you an honor which nobody in this area has ever received. What stops you from accepting it and keeping your hands away from whatever bad things you are doing? Thank you very much, Uncle. Please help me ask him because I don't understand what, what, what's going on. Uh, okay. <clears throat> like I said before, a lot of things have been happening around here. Oh, we don't know these people. Believe me, you have no idea of what I am talking about. If I accept this position without doing what they want me to do, they will kill me. They will not. I said they will not. Nobody will kill a man whose God has never been allowed to be killed. Nobody. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is the same God that I have decided to hold on to. The same God, the Alpha and the Omega, the same Jesus Christ, the everlasting one I have decided to follow. He has shown me these past few days. He has shown me that he is God, that he is the almighty one and there is nobody like him. The same God that said that the years the canker worm and the locusts have taken, he will give us back those years a thousandfold. This is, this is the same exact thing that they're complaining about. You know, he keeps reducing everything to the level of this God and Bible. Everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you foul spirit. I command you to leave my house. Leave this minute. Me that your husband has been made a commissioner, and I told her that it is time I asked if you and your husband are not thinking of doing anything for us, for me and your younger sister. Since you married him, he has not done anything for us. A lot of people are wondering 
Why are you he's so rich? Yet his in laws are so poor. Did anybody forbid him from doing anything for us? Or is it mere wickedness? Look, Mama. Mama, if I begin to explain these things to you, you will not understand. Mama, Chief's money is of no use to you right now, even if he gives you the whole money in this world. If I tell you that I, I, I am not sick and tired of that marriage, I'm lying. My husband is just, he's cursed. Mama, can you believe that that man has actually rejected the commissionership given to him by the governor? Uh -uh. Sister, why? I don't know. When you see him, you ask him yourself. Hmm. Anyway, Mama, the thing is that me, I have my own plans. I have already decided on what I have to do. Eh? And once I get on with my plan, I will take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. So don't worry. Once everything is settled, you will be well taken care of, I can assure you. Oh, all I know is that I have tried. Even though your father left us when we were young, I managed to train you. The day your husband and his people walked in here to ask for your hand in marriage, he promised us so many things. But he has not fulfilled any of those promises. We are still waiting. You should not allow people to laugh at us. And at Simo, Mama, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. Like I said, eh? I'll take care of you when that time comes. Eh? And meanwhile, I, I have to worry about You know, my husband actually has some issues with some of his colleagues. So I need to get to work. You know, if every child does not tell me that you want to see me, just pray that I will not have fun. The timing is not right. But it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Do you insist on going this way? Mama, I have to.
Not sound your boys came to my place and beat me up. I did not argue, I followed them. We came down here, they dumped me in this room. I have been seated here, locked up in this place for God knows how long. Nobody has told me anything. For God's sake, Hassan, this is me. Give me some credit, give me some respect. What am I doing here? What is my crime? Next money laundry, excuse me. Money laundry. Me, Alex, money laundry. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe this. <laughs> nice try. Mm, nice, nice try. Are you kidding me? Huh? Are you, are you actually accusing me, me, of money laundry? Alex, nobody has accused you of money laundry. But the fact is that you have not had money. Yesterday afternoon, the sum of 2.5 billion was paid into your account. And the bank manager, like every other conscientious banker, reported the lodgement. The source of the money is not traceable. The source up till now is not traceable. Then you detain me for a lodgement I know nothing about. That is all we need you to explain. What do you want me to explain? I've told you. Hassan, are you deaf? I don't know what this whole thing is all about. Why would 2.5 billion appear in your account from nowhere and you are not willing to explain it? Hassan, listen, let me tell you. This is not the very first time that has happened. Four days ago, another 200 million was credited into your account. This is ridiculous, Hassan. This is total, total rubbish. I have told you I don't know anything about this. For God's sake, I have phones. My account numbers are linked to my phone. If I get any payment, I get an alert. What are you talking about? That can be true, Alex. I confirm from the manager that the system of the alert is automatic. So definitely, when money is paid into your account, you must have to receive the alert automatically. Listen, look at me. You and I know that this is total rubbish. Absolute rubbish. You know me. In my whole life, I have never laundered money. I've never touched any fund that does not belong to me. You know that this is all part of the grand plan to destroy me, to crush me. All right, fine. Let's assume you don't know. I'll bring you up to speed. My car was blown up. I was about to enter the car. It was blown to pieces. And then my goods were seized. Then I was told I could not import anything into this country anymore, which means my business has been tripled. And now you sit here and tell me that I loaned that money. That's not how. Come on, tell me. How? Answer me, yes, How? The source of the money. God help me. God help me. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God, God in heaven, God Almighty, will always deliver the righteous. Hassan, do what you must do. Peter, so he will be reminded in our cast. Wherever they took our brother, his day before yesterday. And the wife doesn't want to do anything. Up to now. Up to now, then. I don't know what is happening. I don't know. If you ask her, she will say, I don't know. What she does is driving out. 
community, walking around everywhere without telling us the condition of our brother. Okay. Go and call her for me. I want to talk to her. A woman whose husband has such a big problem doesn't want to show concern. She has gone out, as usual. Well, we must do something about this. Uh, I don't think it is time for us to do anything yet. Why? Let us wait till tomorrow morning. If our brother doesn't come back, then we will force her to tell us where our brother is. Matamandi Bosi. Now you wait from Baraka. Our dad, Kaibi, Umudada Kamo. Okalapu. You go Kalapu in Guadian. You go half for the Garanulu. You don't have a young boy. Sure. 
that your husband has not sent you back to spy out that which we do in the nativity. My husband was a senior member of the nativity. And he knows all the intimate secrets already. What else am I going to tell him? How will I even stand by a man who is using his two hands to call upon death on himself? I know that the nativity has the power to descend and crush on any mortal. Ask everything. Go. I will come to you when the time is right. Rise, woman. Rise. She is the one who will bring my son into the world. She is the divine mind whose body I will use to press the talent. servants of our great master. I go where I please, how I please, and when I please. Our Lord and Master, Because on that day, he who would save the world, the son of Lucifer, Baphomet, our Lord and Savior, will be brought into this world. Lucifer has chosen your womb to carry that seed. This is why he has been prompting you to join the nativity. Your reward will be beyond the imagination of any man living in this world. Even the glory he has put in place for his worthy servants will bear in comparison to what he will give you. But this eternal glory is not without a price. The salubrious channel that will succor 
the shaft of this great God is not for the use of a mortal man. Be warned. Be warned. Be warned. Rise up and leave this place. I've opened the gates and blinded the guards. No one will stop you as you leave. Go! And far can I still make it back? Oh, yeah, blood on my hands. How can I make it right? Now I have maimed and killed, brought down tears. So many lives I have hoarded at some point. How can I make all these right? Where do I start from? Why me? Why me? Why? It's me, Mbadiwe. Why me? Tell me why me. Tell me why me.
Morales. This is the governor. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning. So what do I owe this honor? To the fact that you are a very beautiful woman. And to the fact that I always want you around me. Are you still in bed? Yes, I am in bed, Your Excellency. It was... Oh, it was a fun tonight. Ah, I can imagine. I wish I was there. That would have been great. Maybe we can still arrange for another day. Oh well, your wish is my command. <laughs> okay then. I want to see you in my office this morning. You have been nominated to take over the position your husband rejected. Oh my god, seriously! The swearing in ceremony will be coming right by 11 a.m. this morning, and you will resume your duties immediately. This is, this is great news. Thank you. I mean, this is what we all have been praying for. The chief priest told me you have sworn your allegiance to the nativity. Stay away from Akokalia. I, I will, definitely. Whatever has been taken away from him will be returned back to you. He has been marked for destruction. Anybody who is with him when the destruction comes will also be destroyed. None stands against the family of the Lucifer and still lives. Your official quarters have been prepared and you are expected to move into it immediately. See you at the swearing in ceremony. Thank you, Your Excellency. This is such a wonderful news. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Ah! This is it. <laughs> this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Alice, it is now time for you to enjoy your life. Me. Commissioner for Trade and Industries. <laughs> Let me see how that begins. I am not the same man. You need to hear me out. Please. I know, I, I, I understand. This is so heavy for me, but you need to hear me out, please. Please. And you asked me what I was going to make my money. You were right. I was into ritual killings, senseless killings, blood money, bloodshed. I was worshipping the devil. 
And then, the day you left, the Holy Spirit visited me and it told me to leave the cult. It was when my boys accidentally kidnapped your daughter that I said to myself, enough is enough. So, Akukalia, it was you that kidnapped my daughter. My own daughter. Please, please, I beg you. I, I know how you feel. I know how hard it is for you to understand me right now. But please believe me, I am a changed man. You know me. I'm a man of my word. I give you my word. My word is my bond. I am changed right now. Please, I am sorry. And yes, I sent my boys to get me a young woman. It could have been anyone else. It could have been any other girl. I thank God that things happened the way they did. Maybe God wanted to use your daughter to get me to where I am today. Please forgive me. Madam, please. Please forgive me. His Excellency, the executive governor of the state is also part of the court. Yes. And that was also why I rejected the position of the commissioner with this opportunity. He has been trying to persuade me to come back to the court. And I vehemently refused. And they told me that I will suffer and suffer. The truth is, at this point, I, I am yet to fully comprehend what is happening to me. But one thing I know for sure is that I have been called by God. I have been instructed by God Almighty, the one who created the earth. He has called me, and he is the one who is leading me. And as he leadeth, O oh Lord, I will follow. I will follow. As I speak to you, I do not have a home anymore. He has taken my house, also my
this does not sound like a white girl marriage. For God, I'm going to be a man. 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 Congratulations. I watched you in TV. Yeah. I want five pairs of skirt suits. If this one is not enough, let me know. I'll get some more to you. I want them delivered to my house. Not my wedding. I moved into the commissioner's bench. What is wrong with her? The doctor says she has trouble with several other complicated matters. And, and, and she's in life support, but they said they need about 800,000 for this equipment. So, why are we calling me? Sister, we need to hear quickly now. We need to do something. How's my mom and die you? Job 
Belinda, I sent messages to you the other time that I needed to buy most of those stuff you imported from Italy. But you never got back to me. I hate to be kept waiting. No, listen, woman, I don't have the time. I'm a busy person. So whatever it is you have to say, say it here. I'm sorry. But those ones I sent you were samples. I'm desperately in need of cash. And I was hoping you were going to give me some cash. No, 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 don't look at me like that. See, it's money that will pay back immediately my, my, my goods are cleared because people are waiting to clear the stores, you know. And so your little mind tells you that now I, Alice, will now share clothes with commoners or that my heart and money is for you to climb your Greek car that you import so that those lousy idiots who run around town patronizing you would buy, right? As if I'm a piece of, of rack. Why? What do you expect? She has become a commissioner. I am still a trader, a common trader. <laughs> Spare me. Was it not the same place she, she used to come to borrow clothes a few years ago? So what, what, what are we talking about? My sister, people could even forget where they come from. So? That is why my mouth is the hanging open. Mm -hmm. Are you not seeing the sudden transformation? Mm -hmm. What was her husband a, 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 a few years ago? He used to be an ordinary market trader. All of a sudden, he rose to become one of the richest men in the city. That the government even considered giving him an appointment as a commissioner, which he rejected though. What? And they now transferred it to his wife. An ordinary housewife. Are they the only couple in this city? What are we talking about? There's something strange happening. They are involved in something, and we are going to find out. Ah, Blinda. What is that, Blinda? See, I'm telling you the fact. It's a fact. You are not just seeing it. It's so glaring. You are not seeing it. Ah, Blinda. They are involved in something. Something, and we are going to find out what it is. Blinda, mm -hmm. don't say something that will put into trouble. Baby, please. please. I will say it. There's something happening. They are involved in something. Something. Don't say something that will put into trouble. I'm begging you. You are the only one that I'm oh, Unless you will go out to go and say it. I have said it. You are my friend. I will tell you. This is what is happening. There's something strange happening. And we must see the end of it. The other day, I voiced my concern about Chief Mbadiwe Akokalia. I was told. That is beloved of Lucifer. So what comes next to me? Why can't we move him away? Why is he walking a free man? Even after Tundi here, arrested and locked him up. He walked out of detention as if there was no bars. 
and he seemingly looks as if he's disappeared from the face of the earth. Really, my CP? I am more powerful than you are. My boys are normally consensus fellows. But up till now, none of them has agreed that he had a hand in springing him out of detention. I've also had every one of them on duty that very night dismissed from service, locked away, and also tortured. And yet, all my efforts to find out the cause of his surprise disappearance proved abortive. I don't just know. That's exactly where my worry lies. If we cannot locate him physically, why can't the chief priest with all his powers locate him, find him and destroy him? Exactly. My boys planted the bomb in his car, but he was not there when it went off. The chief priest attempted to strike him with stroke, but he resisted it strongly. This same man, whom we seize all his assets and properties, walked out of detention, disappeared from under our noses as if we were mere flies that can only buzz and not bite. I think something must be behind me, and this baffles me a great deal. Yes, sir. This is 15,000 naira. The only money I have in the house. No other money. Eh? Go back to the hospital. At least let them start some treatment. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you. I wonder why Alice has not done anything up till now. Eh? Uncle, I don't know what is happening. Seriously. When we got to the hospital yesterday, I called her and told her what the doctor said. And she told me that she's very busy and that her job is very important. <laughs> Can you believe that she's there? She's not even bothered to call me. Hey, that's strange. That does not sound like Alice at all. But I wonder what kind of job is more important than somebody's mother. Uncle, somebody's mother. Anyway, why be here? The most important thing is to let the doctor start some treatment. Let me run around to look for more money. Eh? Go back to the hospital. Uh, where will you get money now? In, in this village, where nobody has money. Eh? I know God has his ways. He must surely help us. Okay, I pray. Yeah. Oh, maybe when I finish from the hospital, I'll go to our house and see her. I, I, I assume she doesn't understand the gravity of the situation. Two hundred thousand naira is very small for commissioner. Mm -hmm. For her to help her people. Eh? Is it not the country we are living in? Do you now see how people are? At least I've forgotten that. A few years ago, she and my husband couldn't even afford to eat decent food to eat. <laughs> in our one, the other day I was passing that. I heard some people saying that she went behind her husband to take his position. Yeah. And when the man found out, he went back his things and left her. Hey, my sister. Anyway. 
I'm not surprised. I've heard so many things about her. I don't even know anyone to, to, to believe anymore. I even heard that she's in the court. Ah! Yes! People! Now tell me, what on earth will make a woman to be in a court? <laughs> what? My sister, nowadays, everything is possible. Take the money that I've given you and go back home. You're not going to get any more money from me. Huh? I've given you 5,000 naira now. Why can't you take that one and go? Oh, sister. Sister, you're a commissioner now. Women from a man's treatment shouldn't be difficult for you to raise. No, it can't be difficult. Because I am Central Bank. Eh? Or maybe when you walked into this compound, you saw that I planted money. Clock the money now. Come and clock the money. Oh, sister. No sense. How much will you cost to treat your mother? Sister, your own mother. How did you become this heartless? Just take the money and give it to me and go home. Ah, sister, you want me to go home? I want Mama as she dies slowly in the hospital. Sister, you're not doing this. Sister, Mama is dying. Okay, just take the money and just go home. Go back to the village. Sister, I want you to go home. That is cover from me for Mama's treatment. Sister, I'm not in position of fighting for mental. Always obey the rules. If you do, the earth will be yours. The money that inactivity gives you is not for any other but for you alone. You are forbidden to spend it on another. First in the morning, I'll go to, to the town and see her. If she has any time, then somebody she will tell me. Because she cannot be in the position she is and allow the family to suffer this way. Money is not everything. Can she ask the fellow commission for help to help her to arrange treatment for the mother? That's why I got the elevators of people to the position they are. I get there and see her. Push her the money. What can she
Uncle, I was taking a bath, you know, getting ready for work. This one you came so early. I hope all is well. You know what the matter is, Alice? I don't understand. What did your mother do to you that is said to close their eyes while she's dying in the hospital? Uncle, what type of talk is that? If you ask me that question again, tell them to strike it down. This is a woman who carried the nine months in her womb. You are very small when your father died and she was doing everything they do to make sure you, she gives you good education. And what you are paying her is ingratitude. You didn't care to visit her in the hospital or to pay money for her treatment. If we are sister, you run up and down looking for money. Do you know how much I gave her? You are a very wicked woman being and heartless. You are a disgrace to the family. Okay, enough. Enough. You do not come to my house and insult me. The many you all are talking about, do you know how I made it? The position I occupied today. Does any of you know how it came about? If I was some, some poor rat running around the streets, would anybody come to me for help? You ain't in the bed, I are you talking about? Yeah? The woman! Sentiments of no consequence to our master. We've been sent into this world to do a job, and that job requires that we kill our feelings and close our eyes to the emotions that we move to another man. What is the justification? How do I justify that? My mother, my own blood mother, is dying in the hospital. And I cannot do anything to help. It's not as if I do not have the resources. Those who are not initiates. Should not share from that which the initials enjoy. Your money is not for those who do not recognize our master as the ruler of the world. Everybody in the world should believe in Lucifer. And even if you should take all of them dying to believe, so be it. Some penalty with the one the nativity gives you a lifetime and an eternity of poverty. And another reminder your sexual favors are reserved only for me and our master when he comes. If you defy the temple of the Holy One, instant we and destruction will follow you and the one you have expended those favors on. Be warned. Be warned.
have suffered in vain. I don't know if it will mean anything to you. I just want to tell you that Mama has just died. No worry. We no longer bother you. Just imagine 
what had befallen him within a few weeks. Now his mother in law is gone. How do we go about it for her? Now that Jenny is, don't want to give Akokaya a little space. Hey! The brain of Lucifer. I've told you before that Mbadiwe is the beloved of Lucifer. Hence, he still deals kindly with him. But some of you still ask questions that bring the power of our master to question. Lucifer has asked me to tell you this. Let not your hearts be troubled any longer. Just watch and see what happens to Chief Mbadiwe. Because his days of grace are over. He will suffer so much that he will beg to be readmitted. But our Lord and Master will not listen to him. And finally, he will be destroyed. We worship. We worship. We worship. And finally, sons of Lucifer, our friend and member here, Lady Alice, has just lost her mother. The burial is being arranged in the village. And I want us to show faith with her by burying this woman in the way only members of this family know how. I also want us to give her as much as we can. We will use this burial to announce our takeover of the world. And I will give her the sum of 20 million naira. That's my chief priest. I don't think that any member of the nativity here should be given anything less than 10 million naira. Of course, you will all agree with me that Alice here is a special woman. I myself will give her the sum of 20 million naira. I was for the sum I called you back because our Lord and Master has asked for an emergency sacrifice for the new thing he's going to do in this land in the next four days. What that thing is, I'm not at liberty to disclose to you yet. But I had a meeting with him in heaven last night and he said he's going to do a new thing and it shall spring forth and with our eyes we shall see and behold it. And he has asked that we make a sacrifice of a hundred souls on the night he shall visit us. So I want us to prepare for his visitation and get the sacrifice ready. Each and every one of you shall provide four souls. A hundred people missing? It's too much now. How do I explain to the IG that a hundred people got missing under my watch? How? No. Commissioner, have you forgotten the last plane crash? What do you think that was for? We are talking about souls here. People. Lives. This is extortionate. And nothing is too much for a car. But we have done enough sacrifice for our God.
There are two boys and two girls, all virgins, huh? Yeah. After all, that is what my husband used to pray you guys. Madam, your husband never sacrificed any man. What we brought for him were always small girls. Those were easier to find. Besides, you're a commissioner. Getting the money can never be a problem. Okay, fine. It's okay. I'll pay. But just make sure you deliver on Friday night. I don't want any disappointments. Um, it's all right. Make the money available and you have them. Just pick up the money tomorrow evening, but make sure you make the drop on Friday night. Don't you ever mention
Divine whore. He visits me every night. Gosh. I have not had 10 seconds of sleep in 10 days. Damn, man. I never knew that man could have such staying power. What's the event is that he said that um, the day that any other man touches me will be the day that the man and I would die. <laughs> The old rogue, he's at his tricks again. Oh yes, I admit that he has his own past. But that divine whole thing is what he uses to reserve the women for himself alone. Nothing will happen to you. Absolutely nothing. I have slept with four of the so-called divine horse. And look at me. Nothing has happened to me. Listen, my only problem is with Umadi, your husband. Nobody has been able to track him down. I haven't been able to. The chief priest hasn't been able to. So what about his powers? Umadi is there, freely walking about the street. But the chief priest can't even get him. So, why? I wonder too. Leave the chief priest to me. Enjoy yourself, okay? I mean, here I am, the executive governor of the state. I am on course, and nothing will stop me. Very soon, I will leave the court. What else do I need them for? I'm good to go. Yes. Mm. So, you know what you do? See me at the governor's lodge around 10 p.m. Then we can conclude. Good day.
you sure about this? I don't get you. About what? You mean the promise I made? No. This is what this whole thing is all about. These people who have been kidnapped, they need them for a sacrifice, a ritual to birth the son of Lucifer. The challenge here is this. The people who are behind this, members of the cult, they do not know and understand fully what they are into. They, they, they feel they will get money. They believe the devil will give them money. But for Lucifer, and his servant, the chief priest, he has another agenda, which is to birth the son of Lucifer into this world. Just as the son of God, Jesus Christ, was born into the world through the agency of a woman, a virgin. In that same vein, the son of Lucifer will be born into this world through the agency of a defiled, corrupt woman. And that woman is Alice. My wife. Oh yes, they have chosen my wife. And just as the innocents were killed at his birth, these kidnapped souls will be murdered in order to bring forth the one who will unleash untold mayhem and suffering, intense suffering on humanity. But what I still do not understand is why Satan has chosen this quiet town? Why? But who knows why God chose Jerusalem out of all the cities of the world? And then again, he has chosen me. He has chosen me to stop this end. I do not know why. Jesus! Jesus Christ! Do you know half of what you are saying? Only God knows all of it. But that which has been revealed is for us. And that which is not is for God. All we need to do is stand in the gap and stop this from happening. How? By going on our knees in prayer. I have called upon the leaders of the Christian Association to gather. We will stop intense prayers this night. 
Saturday night is only two days away. Well, the good Lord who has called you to do this will surely strengthen you. Yes. This is very scary. Yes, my dear. Is that why you brought the victim? Well, my dear, sometimes physical food is not enough. Our strength comes from the spirit. And that strength doesn't come from that which goes inside us, but that which comes out from us. Okay, then, can we start the prayer now? Please. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we call upon your holy name, your good name today. Father, I know that you are here because you said that when two or three are gathered in your name, you are always. I call you ours as a divine hall. It is time I reiterated the demand that goes with that position. You've been honored by our master, Lucifer. Saturday will be the twelfth day of the twelfth month of this year. On that day, our Lord and Master Lucifer will bring forth his son into the world. On that day, my job as his servant here on the face of the earth will be done, and I will go home. You have been chosen to be that child. It is through your channel that the divine child will be born into this world to rule the world for his father. You will be Lucifer's wife. He will pregnant you with his seed. And that seed will also be born on that same night. You need to be prepared. And we have to start the preparation now. This is why your sacrifice is greater than that of others.
Lucifer, son of the morning. We have done all you expected us to do. And now we have come out in the open to await your coming. Where we unveil your receptacle. Come down in your glory and feel her with that which you want to bring into the world. We, your servants, await the body population. Enemies, why are you here, Chief Priest? You claim to be all knowing, and you claim that your master is all powerful. How come you don't know the things that are happening around you? Your divine form was defiled, and she was defiled by him. It's a lie. Lucifer is all knowing, and he would have revealed that to me if it were true. Accept his own people. 
you know your friend, he who trusts in the Lord is like your Zion. Who can you have in the name of the Lord? And those of you who are still standing with the chief priest, this is your last chance. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and you will be saved. Thank you. 